Hey, I'm Warren Sprouse. This is the Bible Forum. We're here for you every Sunday night, rain or shine, doesn't matter, for two hours as we look at life through a biblical lens. I wondered if you paid a whole lot of attention uh, to what happened over in Europe this past week. Uh, you had to have been under a rock not to see and to hear all that was going on. Do you know why these things are happening? I heard one report. I didn't hear it again. I haven't read it anywhere else. But apparently there was, in Europe, an email that was making the rounds. And the email said when the sacred months are over, slay the idolaters wherever you find them. That didn't come from somebody's head. That came from the Quran. Surah 9, verse 5. Arrest them, besiege them, lie in ambush everywhere for them. Faithful Muslims, true followers of Muhammad, slay the idolaters wherever you find them. Well, the sacred months are over. What are we seeing? A truck driving through a crowd of celebrators in France. An attack in Brussels. Two bombs in an airport. One in a subway. Another found unexploded in a house. Bombs loaded with nails. The attack in, in France. A madman is driving a truck through a crowd. Weaving back and forth trying to hit as many as he could, aiming for children. People celebrating Bastille Day along the Riviera. Why? Because of this email? There was an internet appeal. Went throughout all of Europe. Kill the infidel. And do it in a horrible way. Why? Because Ramadan is over. Why Europe? Because Europe has opened its doors to Muslim refugees. But uh, Europe is helping. Yeah. And now there are more Muslims there than before. And unless you are ignorant, living under a rock, not paying attention or don't care, you have to know how these people operate. They have it written down. It is a policy that when a particular nation reaches a certain percentage of Muslims, they are supposed to do this. According to a 2015 Center for Security Policy poll, 51% of American Muslims desire that Islamic Sharia law be made the law of the land. Nearly 30% say that violence is appropriate against Americans who insult Islam or its prophet Muhammad. Both Islam and the Quran list numerous atrocities in the violent imposition of Is Islamic Sharia law. Their own followers are not immune. It treats women as chattel, stones them to death if they are raped or if they're simply not properly attired. And in even the most civilized Islamic nations, such as Saudi Arabia and Iran, they execute the practitioners of homosexuality as a matter of law, tie their hands behind their back and throw them off of mountains and out of seven ten-story buildings boil them in oil, light them on fire. Non-Muslims are fair game. Writing last year in Investor's Business Daily, investigative journalist Paul Sperry noted that 60% of Muslim Americans under 30 told Pew Research that they are more loyal to Islam than they are to America. And there's more. In a World Public Opinion poll in 2009, they found that 83% of Palestinian Muslims, 62% of Jordanians, 61% of Egyptians approve of jihadist attacks on Americans. In another poll in 2015, learned that 1.5 million British Muslims support the Islamic State, which represents about half the total Muslim population of Great Britain. The Palestinian Center for Policy and Survey Research in 2015 found that two-thirds of Palestinians support the stabbing of Israeli civilians. You see one, stab them. 
BBC, 2015. 45% of British Muslims agree that clerics preaching violence against the West represent mainstream Islam. A poll in 2015, 38% of Muslim Americans say Islamic State beliefs are Islamic or are correct. In another research poll, 78% of British Muslims support punishing the pun publishers of Muhammad cartoons. 68% of British Muslims support the arrest and prosecution of anyone who insults Islam. A motive, ac a motive action survey in 2014 found that 80% of young Dutch Muslims see nothing wrong with a holy war against non-believers. Most verbalize support for pro-Islamic state fighters. An Al Jazeera poll in 2015, 81% of Muslim respondents support the Islamic State. And we here in America want an open door policy for Muslim immigrants? Muhammad taught in the Quran stresses that a central tenet of Islam is to convert, enslave, or kill the infidel. An infidel is anyone who is not Muslim, or depending on who is doing the killing, belongs to a different sect of Islam. Moderate Muslims are also infidels or idolaters by definition. They're bad Muslims. And so according to the Quran, they're not Muslims at all. Bridget Gabrielle is a world-renowned national security expert. She talks about the rapid rise of Islamic terrorism and notes that there are 1.2 billion Muslims in the world. Of them, intelligence agencies estimate that 15 to 25 percent are orthodox, meaning they actually follow the teachings of the Quran. That leaves 75 percent of Muslims being peaceful people. However, when you look at the 15 to 25 percent of the world's Muslim population, you're looking at 180 to 300 million people dedicated to the destruction of Western civilization. That's the total population of the United States. 